This is my winter blues. Oh my god. Hey, darling. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling. We could get out of town. See the beautiful world around. Wanna see it now? Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to your Healthy and Wealthy Go Reset for the month of January. Yes, we're a little bit late, okay? Better late than never. I feel like I'm always saying that in my videos, but that's that's my life. It's such a funny thing being on YouTube because it's like if you want to be successful on YouTube, but you want to be like ahead of the curve. So like ideally you'd be filming your January reset at the end of December and you're always like one step ahead to be able to get your content out right away. And I so wish I was that person who was ahead in life, but I'm always like feel like I'm running and catching up in life. So that's why I'm here doing my January reset on the 6th, but at least we're doing it, right? At least, you know, I could just be like, oh, it's already been a week. We'll wait till February, but no, we're doing it. Anyways, if you're a little bit behind like me, we can get our together together. And if you've already got your together, well, I hope you enjoy this video anyways. So in today's video, we are going to spend the day together getting our lives together for January and for 2024, kind of in general. I wanna make a vision board. I want to clean up my apartment from the holidays. Just get everything ready for the fresh start that is New Year's. I feel like I've slowly been working on this over the past like week or so. I personally get really overwhelmed with New Year's and feel like my life needs to be perfect and everything needs to be in its place. So for me, that's why it kind of takes a little while. I feel myself getting overwhelmed just talking. So I just arrived at my office. I have a little bit of work that I wanna do today. Today is Saturday. So just wanna have a few hours of productive time. Then we're gonna run a bunch of fun errands together. And then tonight we're really gonna have a cozy night in doing our reset, setting our goals for the month of January, doing all of the stuff. So hope you're gonna enjoy. Let's dive in. Who remembers this mug? When I was filming that clip of like pouring the green tea in here, it literally looks like I was pouring pee <laughs> into this mug. In 2024, I am cutting out mostly black tea because I realized over the Christmas break that I'm like way too addicted to it. Like I was waking up and being grumpy if I couldn't get my black tea with milk. And then I was reading up on like the benefits of green tea and stuff. So I was like, you know what? It's green tea and black tea is gonna be a treat from now on. Definitely takes a palate adjustment getting used to the green tea, but now I really, really like it, and now it's this that I crave in the mornings. But I guess it's like a lesser evil, so it's not even the morning, it's one o'clock. <laughs> and this vision board is getting updated today. Today should literally be illegal for how cold it is. Do you see my nose? My hands, it's freezing. I just finished my productive time at the office. It was honestly torture, you guys, and I'm in such a bad mood now because for whatever reason, the heat wasn't working in the building. I don't, I don't think they turned it off because the heat was on in the hallways, but like in my office, I cranked it up. It's like those old, um, radiator like pipe heating except instead of being on the ground it's on the ceiling and I don't think it turned on like I was just sitting there shivering the whole time it was super unpleasant my head is like racing because ugh, I just I don't want to be a complainer <laughs> but I'm not feeling I'm not having my best mental health day and this happens to me a lot in the winter time as soon as we pass Christmas, it's like January hits and I get these like January blues that like the seasonal depression hits because I can handle the cold when it's like leading up to being cute Christmas time. But then, you know, the Christmas tree comes down and the Christmas lights start to come down and it's just like freezing for no for no reason. And we have so, so much freezing time left and it's really unpleasant and I start fantasizing about moving to Florida or to Australia or to like Hawaii, but I can't and it's just really frustrating. Anyways, like, I know I just need to be grateful because moving places doesn't actually fix your mind and it doesn't actually make you a happier person. Like, I know that. 
but I'm just like my mind is like all mixed up and like I'm still I keep flip-flopping between what I want to do for the office like I was I ordered new furniture I was like I'm staying and then the past couple times that I've gone there's just been like little things that drive me crazy like today the fact that it was freezing and like the pipes are making so much noise and I'm like I'm editing a video and even though I had my mic on I got my new mic you could still kind of hear some background noise and I feel like there's no perfect solution anywhere. Like at my old apartment, you could hear trucks going by and stuff like that. But at the same time, I, I don't think I can just work from home forever because our apartment is really quite small and it's a loft, which means that like everything is all in the same room. So like JS cannot be home when <laughs> I'm filming. It just doesn't work because if he makes any noise, like you can hear it. So I just feel like I don't have like... I don't know. I just feel unsatisfied with like, I'm just complaining. I'm going to shut up, honestly. I've been dreaming of a house and I've been dreaming of having like a house with different rooms and I could have a room that's like my space. Why does this make me want to cry? What the hell is wrong with me? This is my winter blues. Oh my God. But then I'm like, I feel stupid because like my apartment is so nice and I should just be so grateful to live in Canada and have a cozy warm bed and like a roof over my head and I'm really just out here being a perfectionist and like constantly wishing for more and that's that's not a cute behavior but I don't know it's just how I'm feeling and like today I'm just like I'm so frustrated because yeah anyway sorry guys <laughs> Moving on, step two is to go to my storage locker. So we're gonna drive over there right now. We are going to, I have a bunch of crap in the back of my trunk that we're gonna put away. I'm gonna grab the box for my Christmas tree so that we can put the Christmas tree away. That is step two. Okay, that's done. Yes, now we get to move on to step three, which is gonna be so fun. We are gonna go pick up JS and then we're gonna go to HomeSense because I have a little, there's like a little problem area in my apartment that I wanna see if we can get like a basket for. It's like all of our charging cords and stuff. They're just all over the kitchen counter. So that's gonna be great. And then I'm going to go to the grocery store. JS is going to a Montreal Canadiens game tonight. So we are gonna have a healthy and wealthy girls a healthy and wealthy girls night in we're gonna make tomato soup and that's when we're gonna like sit down and do all of our goals for January and our vision board and all of that I feel like I have like Botox in my face or something because I'm so cold like I can't talk so let's go pick up my boyfriend <laughs> oh and I'm so excited because I'm gonna bring my mic to home sets so I'm gonna like get mic'd up before we go in just for fun you know do you feel like you're feeling the winter uglies Winter at least big time. Okay, we're in LaSalle. Jean, say hi. Hello. <laughs> and we're gonna go to Home Sense and we're gonna get mic'd up. I feel like we should almost put the mic on you and you can do us like funny commentary. I was telling Jean about my predicament and he just laughed at me. That's not true. Oh my God, you're such a liar. <laughs> Hey Zoe, tell us how it is to lie. It's not turned time. on. How is it to have no compassion for your girlfriend's family? Oh my god. You know, just because you have like a cushy office to go to every day paid for you by the man. The man. Paid for you by the big man. The big dog. <laughs> I wonder if uh, the people you know, about, more like the people watching know about the big dog meme. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> That's noise cancellation on. Testing. Yeah, right. That's it. That's off. A work of art. All right. ASMR. Oh, disgusting. Makes me want to puke. What, you probably like this kind of ASMR. Protein shake ASMR. No, it's the worst. I like quiet, quietude. Is that a word in English? And you? Or not meant to. Hold on, wait, I wait. messed up. I met. Maggie, what do you have to say about this shopping adventure? Oh. She gave it a lick. That's nice. Did anyone use the uh, Apple uh, weather app? For the moon? It's beautiful. It's a beautiful moon. That's so embarrassing. What? 
I was supposed to send the link to review a sponsored video and I accidentally sent the link to Garage. Wow. <laughs> like I was looking at some stuff on Garage and I copy pasted a link. But I thought I forgot, like I mixed yeah. up my links, and so instead of sending a YouTube video, I sent a link to for like a pair of pants. That's actually pretty funny. They replied. Yeah, she was like, "Are you sure you sent me the right link? This is a link to to garage." Yeah, boy. yeah let's just let's just go. Big dog. Come on. We're gonna put the dog in the car, right? Yeah. Good job. Good girl. Oh, Look at her go! Okay, it's so freaking packed in here. I'm, I'm like, I'm talking to my spy cam. <laughs> it's it's packed. I'm really overwhelmed. Find the camera somewhere. No, I'm being a spy right now. You're a spy. Okay, guys, look how packed it is. Okay, let's just go find this basket and get the f out of here. Hmm. This is what I want for the bedroom. What? Yeah, that's insane. But it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Don't you think it would look good in the bedroom? Where the mirror is, and then you move the mirror? Yeah. The what about these? Cow pillows. <laughs> that's nice. Yeah, that would have been useful, actually. Where would we put it? In the hall. Can we get it? <laughs> that's kind of nice. This? On the opposite wall? Like across from the bed? Yeah. Or or like this on top of the bed. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's nice. Is it basic though? I don't really care and you are basic, so. Did you guys hear that on the spy cam? Say it again. I don't really care and you are basic. <laughs> okay, so should we get it? Will it even fit in my car? Okay, wait, hold the camera. But let's see what's behind it. That's nice. No, not for our bed set. It's also meant to be hung. Uh, oh no, it's fine. It's kind of cute though. It's beige. It's beige as bike. But actually where I see this going is in the living room. Hmm? I think it could go like in the future reading nook or above a potential future desk because I don't know where the home of my office is going to be and I'm in the midst of an existential crisis. Yeah, but the problem is is it's too big on the wall with the TV. All right, let's just get rid of the TV. Well, we're on a challenge right now. Okay, so are we buying this? I'm not, I'm not buying anything, but this is nice. We can come back though. Well, it's not going to be here when you come back. Well, that's not how it works. That is exactly how it works here. Okay, my basket quest begins. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this is for, for Kleenex. Tissues. Oh, that's kind of cute. Well, yeah. basically, I'm looking for a basket like this, but with a lid. Whoop. Yeah, it's nice. All right, put it in the cart, think later. Okay, think later. But what about this? That's way too big. Too big? Yeah. What about that square one here? Still too long, I feel. Yeah. And the dream would be to find one with a lid, so we don't have to look at the the yeah. cords. What do you think? What about this? The mix of color is really not nice. It's really, really heavy. So, okay. Okay, guys. What do you think of this? I think we can even get two, like a small one for. Oh, we could dark send lights. No. Uh, well, maybe, yes, I guess, but... It's a little bit chuggy, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. No, it's cute, it's cute. Put it in, put in the cart, think later. Yeah, but not that color. Put it, here, put it, put it in the cart. I don't think this is it. For our second one? No, but the small one. Because you, you, you know the, bag, the plastic basket? You replace the plastic oh. with a small one. But it's, a, it's kind of ugly. It says laundry. Yes, because it is laundry. <laughs> I'm to pay 100 bucks. Okay, but let's just get this one. It's, it's less bad than the other one. And which one? It's less bad than that one that says laundry. Oh, but I was talking about getting both. Yeah, that one and this one. Those are, those are... No, this one's smaller. 
They're the same. No, this one's much smaller. They're identical. No. They're identical. Oh my god, they're even different prices because they're not the same. Identical. They're not the same. <laughs> okay, good. The laundry coat says wash, dry, fold, press. Since well, I'm 62. not going to press it. I'm not born in 62. And neither are you. Although you act like you were. Okay, so absolute torture inside winners. We almost got a divorce and did not have what we wanted, but we left with those laundry baskets. Now it's time to get the ingredients because we're making tomato soup tonight. I love this grocery store here in La Salle, <laughs> but the problem is it's too good and I always spend way too much money. So as predicted, I spent way too much money. I got into the grocery store and I was just like, oh wait, I want to get out of here. So I ended up buying everything organic because of like just the layout of the store. Anyways, this is a tomato soup recipe. Camilla made it for me once and it was so good. So I'm going to, she sent me the recipe. I'm going to make it again. We just need crushed tomatoes. I'm going to use coconut milk instead of cream. That's what Camilla told me to do. So we listen. One yellow onion instead of two. Um, some garlic and then chicken broth. I'm just going to check if there's anything else I need. Oh yeah, Parmesan goes in it, but I already had some. And then I think I'm going to make a little grilled cheese on the side. The butter, the butter, where is the butter? I even went crazy and got organic butter. <laughs> so that's everything you need. It should be really, really simple. I am so excited to wind down from this day. Just have a little me time cooking. I feel like I really need to get my head into a more positive mindset. I'm just, I don't know, do you guys ever do that where you have like a decision to make or there's just like something and you're just fixated on it? It's a really bad habit of mine that I do that where I like fixate on things that are honestly out of my control or like you're just kind of waiting to make a decision or like you've made a decision then you change your mind anyway i gotta i gotta clear my head so let's get to cooking i know it's nothing new but it's so good to see you we do this every day and i'm still so amazed by you kiss literally it was so freaking good i'm so full and feeling so cozy right now i had to change because i got tomato soup all over my sweater you have to blend the soup at the end and i even just put, like i let it cool down i put barely anything in the blender but it went like Pow! when i opened it and i got covered in tomato soup it's even on my pants believe it or not we are going to do our monthly tradition of reflecting and setting some new goals just to bring us really really nicely into the new month of january I just fixed my camera. I feel like it was a little bit crooked. All right, so I just got out my, 
oh my gosh, there's dog hair on everything. That is the story of my life. I just got out my Pink Peony Gentle Productivity Planner. We are going to review December's goals. And just when I opened this page, I was so embarrassed because I literally did not really accomplish any of the goals that I set for December. That being said, I loved the month of December. I had a great month. I had a lot of fun. I did a lot. It was very go, go, go. But the goals I wrote down to do did not get done. But let's not start with the goals. Let's start actually with my affirmation. Everything happens for me. My dreams come true naturally. I love that affirmation. And I feel like I really did end the end the year and end like I ended the year with the month of December really feeling like my dreams were coming true, which is such a beautiful feeling. I feel like for so many years of my life, I was like pushing and struggling and you know, when I was in university, I didn't know who I was and I felt very lost and I felt very anxious all the time. And in the first many years of my career, like working full time corporate, I felt miserable a lot of the time. Like I wasn't happy and I, I, I don't think it was really for me. And then the first year of being self-employed was wonderful, but also so challenging and wrapping up year two it was also very challenging but there were a lot more moments of smoothness and a lot more moments of feeling like this is what i'm meant to be doing this is a great career for me this is how i want my life to feel and that just felt so good and i had never really felt that feeling for an extended period of time for like eight years <laughs> I also ended the year with some really nice steady YouTube growth um, and you know new brand deals coming in from like amazing companies that I'm super excited to work with. And that was really, really reassuring because I am no longer working with a management team. The agency that I was working with shut down. So when that happened, when I lost my manager, I was really scared and I was like, how am I gonna do this on my own? Like, how am I, you know, the brand deals that really help pay the bills, right? <laughs> And we have our savings goals, we have our personal finance goals. So the, the brand deals help with that. I'm just being transparent. And so I was like, what am I gonna do without my without my manager? And then all of these amazing, amazing opportunities started coming in and I was like, oh, phew. And it really just felt like a sign to let me know that like everything was gonna be okay, that I can do this on my own and that this is really what I'm meant to be doing. So that felt really good. My themes for the month of December were reflection, change, love and gratitude and face your fears ish um i feel like i ish faced my fears it definitely felt so much love and gratitude and yeah i did reflect a lot i feel like i came to certain conclusions and then now i'm just rethinking all of those conclusions it's so funny you guys because as i was cooking and as i was eating dinner i i'm going to talk to you about this in a second but i'm not i'm doing a no tv challenge but i'm allowed to watch youtube so i was watching two YouTube videos and in one of the videos it was a vlog from Rachel Ottenreath and she was saying how December, uh, how January is a really hard month for her and I was like yeah same and then I was watching a Q&A from Kaylin Nicholson and someone asked her in the questions like you know January is like a very overwhelming month for me and it's a very hard month and then she was talking in her answer about like yeah it is very hard and we're expected to come out and be this fresh new person when our body just kind of wants to rest like if you were to line it up with the seasons and how it's normal that January is very hard and that your mind is kind of thinking a lot. And I just felt so seen and I was like, okay, it's normal that I'm feeling this way. I don't have to be so hard on myself. I don't have to try and like get rid of this feeling. I can just like lean into it and maybe rest more. And once again, just try and not like jump to those conclusions and not be mad at myself for feeling a certain way. I think sometimes I'll feel uncomfortable or I'll feel unsure about something. And then I get like really worked up and I, I treat it like it's the end of the world and that it needs to be fixed right this instant, but maybe it doesn't. So anyways, loved December. However, my goals, uh, one of the goals was to do a no spend week and to vlog it. That one I did. That was fantastic. Uh, to film my end of the year reflection videos, I only filmed one and I meant to film like three, four, five. Um, I, I never got around to doing those. I still really want to. It's just things have been so busy right now and it's really hard to know what to prioritize. Wrapping up my accounting, that did not get done. I'm still working on that. I have some work, um, some contract work for my osteopath, uh, have not finished that. And clean my car, I no, I didn't. I drove twice to the place where I like to go get my car interior cleaned. It's like a super affordable place in Point St. Charles in Montreal. I drove there twice because Google said they were open and they were not open. So 
I'm gonna try again or just I should just do it myself but it's the kind of thing where I'm like I'd so much rather just drive over there and have them do it and it'll be done in half the time but anyways it didn't get done let's look at my manifestations though okay I wrote down in my dreams I'm manifesting section that my office situation gets sorted out for the best you you heard me today okay peaceful week off for Christmas ish I didn't really take a full week off kind of regret it I kind of wish I did because I still feel like I'm in that like go 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 mindset um, and then I wrote that my bar experience is seamless right because I guess that's when I was really starting to teach bar um, like once a week that's when I was really on the schedule I would say it was ish seamless like it was actually in terms of the logistics and in terms of like client satisfaction and client feedback and stuff, it's all been phenomenal. But I have so many personal blocks when it comes to teaching bar. I literally think of quitting every single, like I teach on Fridays, Wednesday, I'm like, I need to quit. I can't do this because I'm so afraid and I'm putting so much pressure on myself. And it's something that like I really want and I really care about and I really wanna be good, but I have so much self doubt that I and fear and it's just like I built it up to be this whole big thing rather than like let's go have fun and teach bar it's like you better go and be perfect and give everyone the best 45 minutes of their life um so yeah in terms of like actual logistics it's been seamless the clients that I've like met and been teaching to so cool so kind like really really happy kind people you know happy to work out happy to feel the burn but it's like, it's me. Like I have some major blocks there, which means I need to keep going. It means I need to not quit and I need to face my fears and I need to uncover what's on the other side of this fear and really like work through this self doubt that I'm feeling. But it's good, it's good to have these things, right? Like I, sometimes I feel like life is, I want life to be easy and I want it to be just seamless and easy going. And like, sometimes I'm like, yeah, life is supposed to be easy and seamless. And sometimes I'm like, no, it's not. Like we grow through discomfort. So <laughs> I just try and remind myself of that. So that's my recap for December. Now, before we go and do my journaling and get into January, I wanna give you guys a little gentle productivity planner update because I got some questions about if these are coming back for New Year's. Unfortunately not. And they are sold out, which is like, Okay, the planners are, yes, are sold out, which normally I'd be like, whoa, like over the moon happy about, but we actually lost, <laughs> we lost 50 of the planners because they never made it to Vancouver. So the line with whom I did this partnership for these planners is based in Vancouver. And the line was in charge of uh, receiving the planners, shipping them, like all of that logistics. And from the supplier, the people who made the planners, 50 of them did not make it to Vancouver. They just got lost. So that was 50 that we had to cancel some orders and like 50 less stock that we could sell. Um, so we sold everything we had. We sold even more than everything we had. It just really, really sucks that there were supposed to be like 50 more planners that never made it. So that like really hurts my heart and it sucks that like some people had to have their orders canceled. We do have digital planners now. So if you like a digital planner, if you wanna plan on your iPad, you can totally do that. That would be so cool. I do wanna bring these back. The thing we're waiting for is we wanna get some customer feedback of what do you like about these planners? What would you like to be different? So that next time we bring it back, if there are things that need to be fixed or need to be improved upon, we can do that and make like gentle productivity 2.0. So if you have a planner, I would love to get your feedback. You can put it in the comments, you can email me. Can DM me on Instagram, um, but that's the stitch with the planner. So there are no new planners right now, except for the digital ones. I'm so grateful to everyone who bought one. Like I got tagged in a few stories of people for New Year's, like setting up their gentle productivity planner. And that made me so freaking happy. Like, it's just so cool. I use this every day. I love it so much. It's crazy to me. I kind of alternate between the champagne and the pink peony. I'm really on the pink peony one right now. So I've done two or three months in this one it's crazy yeah i've done three months in the pink what what am i talking about they only came out in november but i did use my champagne one a bit anyway that's that on that
right, you guys. I cannot tell you how exhausted I am right now. What time is it? It's 8.40. This is so past my bedtime. Look at my face. I'm like all flushed. My winter uglies are in full force. I just did my journaling. I just did all of my goals. I also put some things, you guys saw me using my computer. I put some things into my new goal and habit tracker because I'm going to be using it in conjunction with my gentle productivity planner. If you saw my last vlog, then you saw this tracker. It's from Press Reset and I'm loving it. Anyways, we'll dive into that in a second, but I just wanna say, I promised you guys we were gonna do vision boards in this vlog, but I'm too freaking tired. Like I'm I'm so tired. I'm looking at my Christmas tree. I'm like, you're not coming down tonight. Like I'm so exhausted. I'm teaching bar tomorrow at 8.30 in the morning and I'm just like, no, 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 no. We're gonna go take a bubble bath and go to bed. We are of course gonna talk about January, but what I was thinking is instead of doing the tree and the vision boards and everything tonight, we're gonna do a part two of this vlog. So we're gonna continue getting our shit together for 2024 and I wanna do like vision board, Christmas tree down, apartment revamp and like a self makeover to like combat these winter uglies, you know, slather ourselves with lotion and like <laughs> whatever that needs to look like. So stay tuned for that vlog. Let me know if that's something that interests you and I'm sorry but I think we still got a nice long monthly reset today. I hope you've been enjoying this video. Let's get into it or let's get back into it. <laughs> Whatever you guys, I'm exhausted. 8 p.m. I'm out, my brain shuts down. Okay, so diving back into my gentle productivity planner. Here is my monthly reset page for January. I feel like this month, the words just really poured out of me. So let's start with my affirmations for the month. I have, I can be peaceful and successful. I remember I once spoke with a psychic over the phone and she told me that, she asked me something she said, cause I was like, I was asking her about YouTube. This was four or five years ago. I was asking her about YouTube and she said, how do you think you need to make, what do you think you need to do to make your YouTube channel successful? And I said, I need to work really hard. And she said, you don't need to work really hard. She said, you don't need to work really hard. You can let it come to you. you. You can achieve things without working really hard. You can just enjoy yourself. And I was like, what? And I feel like that's still something that I struggle with a lot is feeling the need to really like, like tonight, let's say it's like, okay, if I wanna be a good YouTuber, I'm gonna stay up late and I'm gonna make my vision board for this video and I'm not gonna listen to my body. Or I'm gonna stay up late so that I can edit more videos so that I can upload more. And that's like hard work. But what if we just listened to our bodies, uploaded in a way that felt good to us? And I mean, look, I'm talking from a YouTube perspective, but whatever your dream is, whatever your hobby is, whatever you want to be successful, I really struggle with like, yes, I believe in hard work, but also like it's okay to take a break and like things can just happen for you because you're putting in the right amount of work. That's something that I kind of struggle with. So I can be peaceful and successful is our affirmation for January. The next affirmation I have is rest is great for my growth, which I think is true for all of us. Like I will try and lose sleep. I'll be like, no, I'm gonna stay up tonight and work on this thing. I'm gonna finish my copywriting tonight. And then my work sucks, my sleep sucks, and I suck the next day because I'm grumpy because I didn't sleep well. So rest is so important, sleeping is so important. And I think if we wanna grow in any area in our life, rest is key. And then the last affirmation that I wrote is I have the power of patience. So just kind of going back to some of the frustrations I was feeling today, <sighs> letting myself be patient, letting myself, letting the answers come to me, letting the feelings come to me, letting myself feel what I'm feeling and then move on and it doesn't have to be a big deal and just practicing patience. My themes for the month are clarity, questions answered, trying to little manifest there, uh, forming new habits and self-care. For my reflections journaling prompt, I wrote, I'm coming into January feeling overwhelmed yet grateful. I am so thankful for the abundance of opportunity coming my way. It's the time to figure out what to prioritize after prioritizing myself. This month, I will also start my new healthy habits and self-care rituals, including workouts, meditation, and sleep. So currently we are like a week into January. I told you guys it's Saturday. I'm really proud of myself. This whole first week of January, I've been really consistent with my workouts, just like short 30 minute workouts, except for yesterday when I was teaching bar, I worked out for like three hours trying to prep my class. That's another story. 
but just nice 30 minute workouts. I've been doing form uh, in my condo gym downstairs. I've been doing little breath work sessions uh, with my hoop. There's integrated breath work um, with the hoop app. So I've been doing that. I've done, I think three and I've done three or four meditations. So I'm really, really proud of myself for the self care strides I've been doing. I've also been really good at waking up early. I got a hatch alarm, which you guys saw at the beginning of this video. So I really started to get the ball rolling on those healthy habits and those self care habits. And I just want to keep it going throughout January and to infinity and beyond. My goals for the month are to finish setting up my incorporation. So finally setting myself up as a business. I want to meditate twice a week or more. I feel like once a week is like, oh, I'll do it later, I'll do it later, I'll do it later. But twice a week is like, okay, I'm thinking of it, let's do it now and then let's do it again. So twice I think is actually gonna help me be more consistent. 6 a.m. wake ups from Monday to Friday. I am doing a no TV challenge. JS and I are doing it together. He is already in withdrawal, so no TV. The TV is allowed to be on, like we're allowed to watch YouTube on the TV. I currently have like Jaws, I'm, Jaws, <laughs> Jazz ambiance on the TV, but like no Netflix, no movies, no distraction on the TV. I guess YouTube can be considered a distraction, but it's like moderation. So no TV challenge. So far it's amazing because there was one night we ate dinner at the table where very often we eat dinner in front of the TV. And then where we would have otherwise like sat on the couch and watched TV, we cleaned the kitchen. I made granola, like so much got done just cause we're not watching TV. It was great. So that's a really good challenge. You guys can join me if you want. No TV January. I also want to do another no spend challenge this month. I want to do a no spend week and I'm planning on doing that next week. I want to revamp my office and revamp the apartment. So for the apartment, taking down the Christmas tree, we're going to sell the desk that is currently here, just moving some things around. And then at my office, <laughs> setting up that desk, setting up the new chair, getting rid of the old desk. And then who knows if that desk will sell. Ugh. Can't talk about it anymore. Uh, I, ooh, I have to show you this. So Raisa, the founder of the line, she surprised me and sent me this book in the mail. She said that she read it and it made her think of me. It's called We Should All Be Millionaires by Rachel Rogers. It looks so good and I'm so excited to read it. It's just like a personal finance book. Should be very empowering. It says a woman's guide to earning more, building wealth and gaining economic power. So I wanna read half of this book at least. Guess who's back in the house? Heels click clacking about. <laughs> Did you guys know that song? Oh my God, I just wanna like keep singing it. Enough, it's RuPaul. This was on my list probably in October. This was definitely on my list in November. This was on my list in December. Clean my car. And lastly, I really wanna challenge myself to upload three YouTube videos a week. I think I spend a really long time editing. Like I think, well, my videos are quite long, but I really put my heart into editing my videos. So for me, uploading three videos is a lot, but I wanna do it. I wanna do it because the more content I put out for you guys, the more I can interact with you guys in the comments, that is what makes me so happy and satisfied. Can you hear Maggie drinking water in the background? <laughs> Good water drinking, good job. Come here, hello, jump up here. Good girl, good girl. You wanna say hi to the friends? All right, so my dreams that I am manifesting are some new YouTube partners for February and that they come to me. Some progress with healing my TMJ. I've started to go see a physio and I'm going to be seeing him once a week for the next month. And along with that, some nights of deep sleep. I've been sleeping so poorly because I'm so freaking stressed that my mind runs all night. I have dreams all night. I clench my jaw all night and that has got to stop. I'm manifesting answers to my office situation and I'm manifesting ski confidence. I fell while skiing over the Christmas break. I fell and I really hurt my ankle. And I feel like since then, I've been once since the fall incident. I'm going again tomorrow, but I feel like I've really lost my confidence and I wanna get it back. So really quick, I just wanna show you guys a little look inside my monthly setup for this habit tracker. I showed you guys my annual setup in my last vlog. And then I promised that I would show the monthly setup here. So I copied over a lot of the goals um, that I just told you guys. You can see it's between personal, wellness, financial, career goals. There's also a spiritual goals category. I just haven't filled that one out yet. 
So these are all split up here. I did add a few extra ones just cause there's more space here to add like more nitty gritty goals, like setting up my journal, finishing 50% of Becoming Supernatural, which is the audiobook I'm currently listening to, Clean Eating 80-20. So I just added some bonus goals here. For me, this is now going to replace my Notion because it's a lot more automated. Notion, I like fall off of and then I come back and I'm like, oh, I gotta clean this up. But this is all done for you. So I'm gonna try replacing Notion with this. So far, it's great. These are all check boxes. So you get to check them off and then it will like automatically populate goals achieved. And you can see there's like a distribution down here. It's super cool, but we haven't done that yet. And then scrolling down, there's also a habit tracker. So in the habit tracker, I put 6 a.m. wake up, meditate, morning walk, audiobook, clean eating, three liters of water, physio exercises, workout, journal, no TV. So today was the 6th. Like I said, no, I didn't wake up at 6 a.m. I haven't meditated. Did go for a walk, uh, clean eating. Yeah, i pretty clean today, I would say. Three liters of water. No, I did not drink enough water today. Haven't done my physio exercises yet. Haven't done a workout. Did I write in my journal this morning? I cannot even remember. No TV. Yeah, we did it. So that's really nice to have this habit tracker. And down here at the bottom, there's also weekly to-do list, which is really nice. This is where it super reminds me of Notion, but instead of having to delete your to-do list like every week, you just keep them and you have more. And then at the end, there's a monthly reflection. So that is gonna be my little companion throughout January as well. And we can give a check mark to the reset part of this video. You guys, we have one last to do today. We have one last thing to do. And that is relax. Let's relax together. I feel like we did a lot today, worked hard. We were productive. We went and lost our minds at home since. We made dinner, we reset, and now we deserve some relaxation. So I really, really, really want to just take a warm bath, fill it with bath salts, just totally chill out, maybe do a little dry brush before. I put a hair mask in my hair, but I'm not gonna wash it yet because I'm teaching uh, tomorrow morning and then we're going skiing, so I'll just wash it tomorrow night. But I really love reading in the bath. So we're gonna go take a nice bubble bath. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out